What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today I'm going to be talking about how I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! about three or four years ago. As well as, I'm going to be talking about the new Master Duel coming out. The reason I'm talking about this new Master Duel, it has to do with how I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! So, you're like, huh, that just came out. It's kind of weird. Let's get into it. So if we're going to talk about how I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh!, we have to go back to the time of late 2017. I was in my master's program in college, and I didn't have a lot going on at that particular night, so I was kind of bored. I was sitting in my room, and I decided I'm going to check the App Store and see if there's any cool games I can play. I never do that, like, ever. I never do that. So I get on there, and I start scrolling. What do I see? Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Guys, I had not thought about Yu-Gi-Oh! in over 10 years at that point. And I was like, what is this? A Yu-Gi-Oh! game? Back in like early 2000s, I was a huge Yu-Gi-Oh! fan. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna see what it's about. So I downloaded the game and I was obsessed. I played that game non-stop. I actually started a YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, doing videos about Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And it was complete garbage. It was awful. You guys know how it is if you start a YouTube channel. It usually sucks at the beginning. So that's how it was. It was terrible. I posted like 100 Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links videos. They weren't great, which I did those in my car, which is hilarious. I love the game. And this all happened just because I happened to look at the App Store, which is a thing that I do not do regularly. I was spending money on the game. It made me think, why don't I just actually buy real live, like physical Yu-Gi-Oh cards? That way, when I spend my money, I actually can like sell them for somewhat, you know, get some money back. I didn't realize this until I bought the Kaiba box, which you guys, if you guys remember the video titled, this is why I make Yu-Gi-Oh videos or something like that. Um, I opened one of those Kaiba boxes, it was like a month ago. And uh, that was the product. I opened that up, I pulled Chaos Emperor Dragon Ultimate Rare. When I looked it up and saw it was $30, I realized, wait, people still actually buy these for like a decent amount of money. Why don't I just buy more Yu-Gi-Oh cards and that way, if I do want to sell them, I can get some of my money back. Because with Duel Links, you can't get any of your money back. It's a deep, dark hole. You spend your money, you get cards, virtual cards, and then that's it. That There goes your money. I sp I think I spent like $300 on one day on Duel Links. Yeah, I've done that a few times like uh, on live streams too, but that was, you know, now we actually have a reason to do it. But back then I was like, dude, you got to chill out. $300 on a video game? So that's why I started buying regular cards. But when I got back into the regular cards, I just wanted the old school cards. A lot of you guys, if you have been following me for a long time, you guys are old school collectors. You realize the same thing I did. You're like, I don't want these new cards, Link cards, Xyz cards. Why aren't they like the old school? We want fusions. We want uh, vanillas. We want all that stuff. That's what I wanted when I first got back into it. And the new stuff was not appealing to me. I didn't care about Link monsters. I didn't care about Xyz monsters, the like Pendulum monsters. I didn't want any of that stuff. I didn't want any of the new sets. There's a couple reasons. The sets at the time of 2017 didn't have any chase cards like they do now. They had secret rares and they had ultra rares. And that's it. So you open a booster box, you either get a secret rare or you get an ultra rare or a super rare. It was like boring. Blah. No chase. It was great if you're playing the game because, you know, there's not some crazy rarity you're trying to chase. But you couldn't you couldn't pull anything like super cool like a ghost rare, a starlight, you know, stuff like that, which they started in 2019, which I'll get to later. And also playing the actual game was super intimidating for me. There were all these new mechanics, all these crazy summoning rules, all this stuff that you do, you just have no idea. Like if you've been out for 10 years, like a ton of people have, like, and like I have, back in the day, I was, I was good at dueling. You know, I was good. I'd go to school. I'd win a lot. You know, I'd win most of the time at school, at church, wherever I was. I would win like all the time. But now 10 years later, you know, it's not my school friends or my church friends and it's all these new stuff. So it's like, okay, I don't know if I can figure this out. And there's really no way to figure that out because Duel Links is not like the regular game. It's completely different. And that's why it's gotten so much flack. People that play like the regular game, the regular meta with like five slots in the, you know, thing, the Link monsters, all that stuff. Duel Links, when I started, it had no synchros, it had no XCs, and it had no pendulum, it had no Link, it had none of that. So it was like old school. So that's why I kind of why I got back into it. Plus it didn't have all the spots. So it's completely different. Getting back into Duel Links helped me get back into Yu-Gi-Oh, but it didn't help me get back into the meta. That's where this Master Duel thing comes in. This announcement the other day about Master Duel, I'm a couple days behind, but it was super exciting for me because this means there is now a gateway. So I was watching House of Champs video the other day, and as I'm listening to him, I'm thinking, I'm, I've been thinking I'm gonna make a video about this. I'm gonna talk about why I think it's a good thing. He starts talking about me. He starts talking about me, and he's like, you see Ruxin34, he got into this because of Duel Links. This is a new gateway. This is exactly what I was going to talk about. He kind of stole my thunder. So John, uh, 
Yeah, pretty disappointing. You know, I'm just kidding. I had told him that when I was over there visiting him, but it's super exciting because now new players like me, if they get back into the card game, you know, they're playing even if they play Duel Links or whatever, or if they want to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh, they can play this master duel thing that's just gotten announced. If it is what we think it is, where it's going to be like a regular simulator, it's similar to Duel Links, except for the fact that you could play like the real game. Hopefully the monetization, we haven't heard about that yet. So there's going to be a lot of arguing about that, theorizing about that. We don't know what's going to come of it yet, but if it does turn out where you can easily access a lot of the cards for like a small cost, it's going to be huge for the game because all the new people joining including me. I'm not new, but I don't know how, to, I still barely know how to link summon. We'll learn all these new summoning mechanics, all these new chain things you got to learn. Like if you don't know about chains and all this stuff, it will automatically do that for you in the simulator, which is going to be super cool. So you put, you're like, you know what? I want to learn how to play this Drytron deck. I don't even know what Drytrons are, but I know that they're a card. I pull it out. I start playing. The game tells me my options I have when I play. You can learn that so much faster now that there's a simulator. Before there was nothing. Learning to play Yu-Gi-Oh! before was like learning how to play the piano by yourself. It's very difficult. Like it's possible to do, but you have to do a ton of research. You have to do a ton of practice. Like it's not easy. There's nobody holding your hand the whole way. This new simulator will literally hold your hand. It'll show, it'll probably, sh I don't know this for sure, but it's probably going to show you like, okay, you can play this card. It's going to light up, you know, click on it. Okay. You can summon it. You can link summon it, activate its effect, yada, yada, yada. And then maybe you'll activate its effect incorrectly. And it's going to, you know, something bad's going to happen. You're going to realize, oh, I shouldn't have activated my effect right there. But if you're playing by yourself, you're just playing with real cards. You don't even know you're going to activate that effect. You don't even realize it. So this simulator is huge. It's going to teach people how to play the real game. And what does that mean for Yu-Gi-Oh? You play the real game, more people get into the real game, more people get into Yu-Gi-Oh. More people are buying products. More people are getting into old school. More people are watching it on YouTube. All that great stuff. It just becomes a more popular thing in general. Tons of people came back into collecting Yu-Gi-Oh in like the last year or so but they probably don't know how to play the game. So this will provide all those people who just got back into Yu-Gi-Oh collecting a chance to learn how to play the game again. And that means there'll be more people competing and all that great stuff. So this is going to be a huge gateway for all those people that just got back into collecting Yu-Gi-Oh and new people who haven't gotten back into it yet. I'm super excited about this. No matter what, even if it turns out to be like you got to buy a ton of stuff, I still think it's good for the game. However, I really do hope, I saw several different theories, but I hope that there's some sort of like monthly payment, like maybe like 10, 15 bucks. You get every single card, all the new releases. Maybe they'll do code cards. That would be cool as well. You buy a pack, you get even more value for your pack because you can go use it online, all that stuff. I think that'd be really cool. I do think that they're going to have to include all the cards up to the point of release though, because it will just be ridiculous. If you have to go back and buy old sets, like it would just, nobody would do it. Like it would not be worth it. I think that they're going to include all that stuff in some sort of like, I've heard it called a battle pass. I think, I think that's a good chance that it happens for the old cards. Maybe with the new ones, they have you actually open them with like code cards or something. We don't know yet. So we're going to be keeping an eye out for that. But either way, this new Duel Master thing is going to be really, really cool. I can't wait to actually learn how to play the meta. I actually was considering getting back into it. And with this, I'm definitely going to do it. But there are going to be streams. We're going to stream. We're going to figure out how to do it. Maybe I'll do it not even streaming. I just want to figure... Because you can get it on your phone. It's just like Duel Links, except for it's a real game. You can play it on your phone. You can play Yu-Gi-Oh! for real on your phone. It's going to be so exciting to play it on your PlayStation, Xbox, all that stuff. The only thing we're hoping is it's not another Legacy of the Duelist thing where they didn't update it at all. I've heard horror stories about that. But yeah, so this was a little mix. Uh, it was a Master Duel. It was a How Did I Get Back Into Yu-Gi-Oh! mixed video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I think I've rambled long enough about how great this is for the game. I really think it's mostly a good thing. I think most people are excited about it. Some people are a little skeptical. They think, you know, man, we're going to have to pay a lot of money. I'm going to use Dueling Book anyway. But I think overall, it's going to be great. It's going to be great for new players. It's going to be great for streamers. It's going to be great for people watching streams, all that stuff, videos. It's going to be awesome. I'm super excited about it. If you made it to the end of this video, I've got a few announcements and a giveaway. You get these three cards. All you got to do, like the video, be subscribed. Let me know your thoughts on the Duel Master. Let me know how you got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Also tonight, today's Thursday, we're opening this first edition Magic Ruler booster box on whatnot. So check that out. I'll link it in the description. Follow me there. 4.30 p.m. Central. It's going to be pretty big. And this Saturday, we are going live on YouTube opening an entire, where is this? 
240 pack hobby box of Power of the Duelist. All 240 packs will be open live on YouTube. We're talking a long live stream. We're talking Ultimate Rare Dark Neos, Ultimate Rare Flare Neos, Chimera Tech, Over Dragon. It's going to be crazy. You guys remember when I opened that Power of the Duelist um, booster box like a couple weeks ago? This is 10 booster boxes, 240 packs. Yeah, so please be there. YouTube live sometime in the afternoon, probably 2 p.m. Central. That's my guess. It may change. Keep an eye out. It's going to be awesome. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs> Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!